Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, why am I warming up the neem oil? Um, overnight it goes uh, quite solid so we've uh, put in some nice uh, water and we've uh, got it to uh, melt. It doesn't take too long, mainly because we have the beet leaf miner back on plot three. Uh, you may be able to see that black mark there, which is the grub. I'll uh, get him out. But any marks like this on the leaves, I can't actually see where the uh, egg has been laid. But there he is. Look, you see him. And he's nibbling away. And uh, if you are eating uh, your spinach or your chard and those marks are on it, you're getting a little bit of extra protein. Let's open that up and have a little look at him. And uh, that's uh, a, a different one. And uh, again, the light's just perfect for me. About time the sunshine paid off, but uh, it looks like there's uh, two or three in there. Might be one in that little bottom left-hand corner. Well, I tried to get him out, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely there. And uh, I've had a closer look at these leaves, and I don't know whether you'll pick it up. But... No, it's far too, but there, there are some uh, signs of eggs um, in this area here. There's one just above my nail. They're little white dots, and then they hatch out, and then uh, you'll see the little trails. But it's time to treat the uh, giant beetroot, and they're not on my uh, eating beetroot at the moment but i will be checking the microgreens as well but i will uh, be giving these a good spray uh, if anybody know what, uh, needs to know about neem oil uh, just uh, at the end the card will uh, come up but i've uh, mixed one liter up so that's half a tablespoon and if you've got a flit sprayer make sure you keep it out the light uh, that pipe in there apparently does go uh, brittle and one of my viewers mentioned to me asking me where i could get one from i don't know but the flit sprayers are uh, a great tool and if you remember we uh, didn't get the beet leaf mine until uh, later on but there again, I didn't know about the uh, beet leaf miner then. And neither did a lot of other people. But I certainly want to protect uh, my giant uh, beetroot this year. And I've given them a decent spray. So I'm going off now to spray the broccoli 60 day Rob, we've got some damage on that and something else is started nibbling the good one if you saw my May tour so let's nip outside give those a spray and see if it stops that from being damaged as well so this is the broccoli uh, and you can see there's something been having a, a go at that there's no signs of any slugs on this and uh, move around to that one. It's, it looked like something's just had a go at that one. But that's, uh, I fried these basically. So maybe, uh, but the heads are actually started forming them on them uh, already. So, uh, well, uh, these flit sprayers are good. You can get up underneath and we'll see. any difference there's a daily one there that's uh, out a shot I don't see any other damage on any of the other cabbages so again we'll leave it at that and the rest in this container now I'm going to uh, put on the uh, garlic and uh, leeks and uh, the other onions uh, it needs to be thoroughly washed out else it does uh, build up in the pipe
to give that a good wash out now with uh, water and put it away for another day. Now I do know that uh, the Nemo works on the beet leaf miner. We tried it on one leak last year, so this is all experimentation. The neem oil can be sourced uh, if you Google neem oil, but it needs to have that 100% in. And if I can keep my leaks good without netting, then uh, I'll be onto a good thing. It saves all the hassle. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now. Look out for the card the end of the screen playlist under neem oil click that and have a look at those videos take care my friends until next time just checking the swiss chard it affects that as well the beet leaf miner the beetroot microgreens. Nothing in there either. Check under the leaves for any white eggs. They're good to eat but the grubs tend to be a bit gritty. Fingers.